I'm Nick. But you know me as Buckluck. And in today's video, we're gonna see every bit of lure I have, everything in my fishing bag, my tackle box, all that stuff. So let's get into the video. First things first, everything in the mystery tackle box. Box, I've already opened the box, I just put some lures in the box. So let's see what we got in here. Oops. Let's see everything in the box. First, let's get rid of the box. We'll go from soft baits to hard baits. So we got these big bite baits, purple and black baits. I'm not a big fan of the squid baits, but I mean, it came in a Mr. Tackle box bag, so box, so must be decent, I guess. Carl's Mystery Tackle box branded uh, lizards. These have scent. I really like lizards. I also really like scented plastics, so yeah. A singular circle hook. Guggen um, crankbait. I love crankbait, so yeah. It's like in a shad colorway, so I don't know how well that's gonna work here in New York, but I got this bait, which I'm gonna use for walleye trolling. Um, it's basically the only reason I bought this thing. It's probably the only reason I'm gonna use this thing. A jerk bait here, pretty random little jerk bait. This jig um, came in a mystery tackle box. And that's everything in the mystery tackle box, bit box, um, and here we got this big thing of soft plastic um, worms, and I have a few jigs in here, which I gotta take out and put into other containers. So, okay, why does this have a worm on it? So yeah, that's that. Now let's get into the main tackle bag, which is huge. Let's get into it. So in the outside pocket here we have this box full of a bunch of literally random stuff. I mean, we have lipless cranks, we got lipless cranks, cranks, so a really expensive crank, which I don't even know is in this box. Um, my miniature cranks, which I use for catching tiny bass, little, tiny large mouths. And that's everything in that box. Now in the front um, bag pockets here, we got nothing in the first one, there, nothing in that first one, but in the second one, we got a bunch of different tools. We got this, which we can use to grab a uh, walleye and different pikes and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't use that that often, most of the time I just gill them. Um, an old style of scale. Um, a bubbler here, got a little bubbler, which means batteries. So, yeah, bubbler. And I don't know why, but a bottle cap opener. Now inside, we have some more circle hooks, which I use all the time. Now this box has stuff for catfish, some, and all my other smaller baits, which I use for like bluegill, small bass, um, panfish, those kind of things. Um, crappie, those kind of things. You know, you know what I'm saying. We got a bunch of little tungsten weights all over the place. Some magic bait. Oh my gosh, it stinks in there. Ugh. Magic bait. It stinks like very bad. Bunch of hooks for the magic bait. I'm gonna try to get through all the baits in here really quickly because it stinks. Oh, um, mini jerk bait. We have three mini jerk baits. Um, two grasshoppers. This stinks. Um, oh, another mini crank, which you saw in the beginning. Um, a tiny little jitterbug. Um, Hopper, topper, hop, hop, hula hopper, um, jerk bait, um, tiny little things. Yeah, you get the point. And oh my god, that thing stinks. Holy crud, that stinky. This next one shouldn't be as stinky, considering there's nothing stinky in it. Um, opened. Uh, we have this deep diving jerk bait here. Try it. As you're gonna see, I really like my jerk bait, as you're gonna see in this video. Um, so we have some spinners, two different kinds of basic spinners, no real face on them, they're really cheap, I bought them cheap because I forgot to bring my, this box, so I brought those, I forgot to bring this box full of my spinners. This spinner I've had forever, I caught my first pike on this one actually, and uh, yeah, really cool spinner. Um, my really big spinner. Right here. 
about a six pounder on this bad boy. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, this little tiny cheap hulaver. I bought a Chinese pack for a joke, and um, I got a bunch of little cheap baits out of that. And this is pretty much the only one I've ever caught a fish on. Um, another jerk bait. This one I've caught a few bass on this summer. Enough last summer, I mean. Um, nothing really special with this guy. Um, another deep diver, white one for some really murky waters. Oh, crap. Um, got a hopper, hoopa, hula hopper. I don't want to say hula hopper because it's not a hula hopper. But, uh, yeah, this guy's got some really cool colors on him. Um, ah. Okay, that's, that's great. You know, I love it when I get two things stuck together here. Okay, they're separated. So we have this spinning bait here with the propellers, little propeller bait. Um, we have this guy, which is like a jerk bait mixed with a um, crank bait. I've caught a lot of fish on this guy. I've had this guy probably the longest out of all my baits. Actually, that's not true, but uh, another one of these little jerk bait looking things. Um, another ow, um, spinning bait. Um, Mini hula hopper. Another thing for this box. And then my soft plastics here, which is probably I've got the most in. Because I probably bought the most soft plastics. Uh, we have these little pink ones, which I bought for a video I want to make this summer. The Breast Cancer Awareness Challenge with use, use pink gear. I want to try that this summer, so I bought these for that challenge. Um, so more Cinco's, um, more Big Bite, um, these are lizards, oh, no, they aren't. I don't know what these are actually, I gotta check out what these are, yeah these are lizards, um, we have some lizards here, close that, uh, some more lizards, some Guggen Craws, I actually used to have a lot more Guggen, I got rid of a lot of it, I don't know why quite, but I got a lot of, a lot of my Guggen stuff, um, and then we got some more like crawl looking things. We got some mini Cinco's and some bands. Um, some of these which are really good trailers. Um, I got some actual like crawfish looking things. I've never caught anything on these. I've dropped these a few times and just no luck with these at all. Um, soft plastic grubs which are really good for panfish. There's a lot of panfish on those. Um, little soft crap plastic flies um swim baits these were actually from a local company i went up to canada and i bought these from the local company and these are pretty cool i have a lot of those um i have these swim baits which are really nice um these were my first like actual swim baits i bought and that's everything in like all these little clear boxes but i have a lot more that i'm gonna show you right in a second. Reaching into the bottom of the bag, I got some Zoom little tail Cinco things. Uh, that's the best way to describe those. Um, and the rest I have to unhook from the bottom of the bag. Now I have this top water bait, which you guys can see what it looks like. It is a top water sunfish. It's supposed to look like it's dead or dying. It sits on the top and comes up, grabs it. Um, this one I've been using a lot over the summer. Um, I had a little bit of luck with it. Didn't catch much bait on it, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I really like that bait or not, but I have it. A trout jerk bait. I just noticed I am missing a box out of my bag because all my top waters are gone. <laughs> and like half of my crankbaits. Including two very expensive crankbaits. But on to the next stuff in the bag, shall we? Line and lots of it. Walmart was having a deal, you know, your boy couldn't pass that up. We got some 12 pound, we got some 14 pound, 6 pound, and 10 pound. Most of the time I use 10 pound, but uh, you know, if I'm going for walleye or pike, I'll upgrade 14. Use clear and green clear. I only use braid if I'm throwing tap water. We got some Guggen baits, some more. These are the Lunker Logs or whatever. 
and this fishing multi-tool, which I'm going to show you guys, because I think it's really cool. Um, we have a liner, put the line there, and then you spool it up. Um, you have your measuring tape. Um, you've got a flame. Well, yeah, actually, these are scissors. These are the scissors. you got some scissors you can cut your line with. Um, you've got a set of fillet knives. I can get the other one. I can't get the other one up, but you get the point. And a flashlight. You can see there, I can't get that open. And the coolest part is it's also got a scale on it. Um, I wouldn't really trust this scale. I'd probably use my other scale because I used to have one of these. I caught a really big fish. Uh, we were assuming, we're still assuming it's about 8 pounds because the scale said it was 3, but the scale was all rusted out. Oh, the fish was about this big. So it was a pretty big fish. Okay, so there was no real way to say it was 3 pounds. The scale was all rusted out and it was this exact style. So I'll probably use the other scale. This one, which I'm pretty sure can be more reliable. Um, see, so yeah, let's just count how much it says I, my fourth ways. So 25, um, and this one counts it as 11. So they're not the same. So I trust that, the other one a little bit more. Another jerk bait. This one looks like a sunfish and a magazine. Cause sometimes you never know when you're trailing, you have to wait there and sit a while. So might as well have something to read, you know? And if you want to see me do all my ice fishing gear, get this video to 10 likes and we will do that. Or just comment down below. Now let's get everything back in the bag. It's my life. This is the end of the video, but I'm so excited this summer to give you guys some fishing content, doing some different fishing challenges with my friends, and that kind of thing, doing, going to Bass Pro, um, buying different things, budget challenges, a bunch of other stuff, catching cooks, survival challenges, and many other things like that, but for now, I'm Buck Luck, and peace out.